Hi there, and welcome to Hyundai Power Products. My name is Adrian, and today we're going to look at this HYC 2400E electric chainsaw. So I've laid the box contents out on the table for you to see. First of all, we have the chainsaw itself with its power lead. We have the Oregon chain bar with its protective cover. Again, the Oregon chain and the user manual. Now, I do recommend that you read the user manual thoroughly before use. I've taken the chain out of the packet, as you can see I'm now wearing gloves. Um, one thing we need to get right before we attempt to put the bar and chain on is that the direction of the chain on the bar. So if you look at your bar, you'll see that it's got this metal bracket only on one side. So if we put this metal bracket on the top, we can now look at the end of the chain and it shows a picture of a cutting link. I'll bring you in on that. So it shows a little picture here of one of the cutting links. And let me just demonstrate by putting the chain back to front. If the chain were to go on the bar this way, as you can see, the hooked part of the link is this side, whereas the picture shows it on the front. So if I turn the chain over 180 degrees, now you can see that the picture of the link, the cutting link, is identical to the shape of the cutting tooth on the belt. So this would be the correct way round to fit it onto the bar. So we're going to remove this chain cover. We can turn this knob here anti-clockwise and the cover can be removed. So at this point, I'm going to lay the chainsaw onto its back. So I'm going to place the chain onto this rear pulley here, the small drive pulley, and it should just sit in position. Then I'm going to take the bar and starting from the end of the chain, I'm just going to locate the chain into the groove in the bar gradually bringing it down just locating the chain into the groove last little bit and there we are that's the chain around the pulley and in the groove all the way around the bar that's the simplest way to do it. It can be done by putting the chain on the bar first and onto here, but it's simpler to fit it onto the pulley, then fit the bar in, then tuck the chain into the bar, and that's it in its loose setup. So the next thing we're going to do is to replace the outer cover. We'll locate it in its position here, and I'll just loosely to start with, just until I feel resistance, tighten that down, to secure the bar and chain. If I wobble the bar, I can get a little bit more. There we are. I'll leave it at that for the time being. Now, as you'll see with this, if I tighten up the hand wheel, the bar goes back and forth. The more you tighten the hand wheel, the more the bar projects out and tensions the chain. So as you can see, I've got a block of wood here. That's just holding the blade in its highest position. I can simply turn the hand wheel and I'll keep going just fairly tight and I'll check the blade. Now as you can see, I can't pull the chain completely out of the guides and it does spring back into position. So that would be a good starting point. Now having tensioned the chain, I'll just put the chain guard on to keep it safe. On the front of the chainsaw here is the safety brake. That would be the brake in the on position and that would be the brake turned off ready for use. So to run the machine you'll see some arrows on the side, forward is off, that means that the motor is off, it won't work, and on here. So if I pull it back the machine will now work. Now I'll just demonstrate how this will shut off the machine. Yeah, immediately I got a kickback or simulated a kickback. This goes forwards and the machine will stop. So to operate the machine, pull the handle back. I'm just going to run the machine for a second or two. Okay. And I'll show you on the table how the lubrication system works. So this here and the cap on the top is the oil tank for the chain lubrication. 
So you would pour chainsaw, chain lubricating oil in here. And as you can see, there's a series of graduations up to the full mark here. So you'll see, just after a few seconds of running, there are small spatters of oil on the table. Now that's purely the oil that was on the chain out of the packet. Now you would expect to see this spattering effect at any time if you use the chain, just to attest on something where you'll see if there's oil coming off to make sure that you've got oil in your tank. So you just need to make sure that you always get a small amount of spattering off the chain and that pretty much ensures that you've got it well lubricated and that you've got oil in your tank. So you'll see this hole in the back of the handle and a loop here. If you take a loop of your power cable, feed it through the hole in the back of the unit, and hook it under that loop, pull back on the cable, that's the cable now strain relieved. So should you pull on the cable, you're not going to damage where the cable enters. So that's the strain reliever from this grommet where the power cable enters the machine. You'll notice under the first few minutes and hours of use that the chain will become loose. This will be the chain stretching or doing its initial stretch when it's new. So just keep an eye on that chain tension and to tighten up the chain, you would loosen off the hand wheel by turning it anti-clockwise and this unclamps the bar. Now it's loose as you can see. And then re-tighten, which then allows the bar to come out, tensioning the chain, re-tighten it up into position and that's the chain re-tensioned after it's become slack. Whenever you're storing your machine, put the brake on, disconnect from the mains and replace the chain guard for safety. Well, I do hope you found this demonstration useful. For more information on this or any of our other products, visit www.hyundaipowerproducts.co.uk. I've been Adrian, and thank you for watching.